guys and welcome to this little video about the Facebook delivery system and especially about the learning phase uh, which is a very hot topic right now because there's so many rumors and opinions about it and no one really knows what's going on so therefore it's uh, very important for me to provide you with the only clear and proven source that there is which is the Facebook Business Advertisers Help Center and here they clearly state uh, how you can optimize your campaigns and what you should really do to get the best out of your uh, out of your ads so let me go through it first of all I would like to define what this learning phase actually is okay and how they make use of it so let's just go through the first chapter here and uh, when we start delivering your ad sets whether they start of a campaign or after you edit it they don't have all the necessary data to deliver as stable as possible thus what they need uh, is to show ads to different types of people to learn who is the most likely uh, to get your optimization events and that's what's called learning phase okay um, important to note that this is not something new that's a, a very normal part of the life cycle of an ad and of an ad set they have done it that way all the time but right now they are just starting to report it or in the delivery column okay uh, what can you expect during the learning phase well in general more fluctuations so the results are not so stable okay and but they do that in order to really optimize to let the algorithm optimize for you to get the best results after this learning phase okay so how long does this learning phase take well it usually lasts around 50 optimization events within a week okay so that's important to note and this has to take place on each ad set okay so not the campaign or even your account or whatever it's really each ad set needs to have 50 of those optimization events each week okay and um, to really be able to optimize for this for this uh, specific event that you have defined so for example if you're running a conversion campaign in an e-commerce store and you then optimize for purchase okay you would need to have at least 50 purchase each week per each ad set okay which is in the majority of the cases not uh, not taking not 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 uh, happening so it's more recommendable to optimize for example for initiate checkout or add to cart or even few content thus the optimization event where you can really get 50 uh, events each week per ad set okay and another thing that you have to have in mind when talking about uh, the optimization events you need per week is of course the conversion window you define okay so um, if you on, on ad set level if you define for example your conversion window is just a uh, one day click of course those 50 events uh, need to take place within one day if it's one day click thus is recommendable to give the algorithm here a bit more data and let it play around at least with seven day click or even give it one day post view so that it has more uh, data to actually optimize for okay so when does this learning phase then actually end well of course in the best case scenario it ends uh, if if it gets those 50 optimization events then it will say learning uh, initial learning phase complete okay and this is uh, where your Facebook campaigns uh, and ad sets become powerful because they will start uh, to deliver stable and um, more sustainable results okay and then in the in the worst case it will not get the 50 results okay so it will not be stabilized and it cannot bring you the optimized results that you could have achieved uh, otherwise so what they recommend is here a little troubleshooting what you could do if not okay but what I would recommend is to simply mm, turn off this ad set and duplicate it start a new one and choose a, a conversion event that is more upper funnel so if you have optimized for purchase and it does not get the 50 events then optimize for add to cards or a few contents okay and that's now a crucial part that many many advertisers don't uh, take into consideration that so many changes actually reset this learning phase and destroy everything that the algorithm has already uh, has already improved for you okay so any change to the targeting whether it be an inclusion or exclusion of someone uh, of course any change in an ad creative or or in the title or in the text or whatever all of this will reset the process okay if you have optimized for purchase and then you change to uh, initiate checkout or add to cart of course this will also reset the learning phase
okay? And, but that's rather in, intuitive, right? So if you show an ad to only men in Spain and then you change it to women in the US, of course, this will reset the learning phase. Or if you just, if you have shown them image A and then you show them image B, of course, the, the learning phase is reset. That makes sense. But what's uh, more crucial, and so many people don't have in mind, that any kind of change um, that you do uh, that, and for the bit, but also for the budget, for the daily or lifetime budget you have set, will also uh, reset the learning phase. Okay? Um, digest that a little bit. Okay? So every uh, every change that you apply to your daily or lifetime budgets will reset the learning phase unless it's not a very marginal one, okay? So for example, they give you here, if you increase your budget from 100 to 101 euro, um, it's li isn't like, that is not likely to reset the learning phase. However, if you change your budget from 100 to 1000, that most likely will reset the learning phase. And I have done honestly several hundreds of tests already on that and for me the benchmark is around 20 percent so if i change it from 100 to 120 or to 80 so up and low 20 percent uh, will increase the uh, will reset the learning phase and everything that's less than 20 percent uh, will not reset it however i've still seen some exceptions to that already and moreover <laughs> think about it if you start with daily budget of 10 euros, okay, and it performs well, you would only be able to change the budget to 11 euro and 90 cent, okay, so if it's less than 20% of the change, okay, so really have that in mind when optimizing your campaigns and when taking action on especially the budget level and the bid and the bid uh, you set uh, for your for a different ad sets because uh, you should be very careful when resetting this learning phase because that's the true power of Facebook. How do you optimize their campaigns? How do you optimize uh, the delivery? Okay, so guys, that, <laughs> that was very important for me and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. All the best. Thank you. Bye bye.